right, ladies and gentlemen, another video. We're going to show you how we go about closing up the front of a concrete retaining wall. This retaining wall probably was about 50, 60 feet long, about six feet high. The footing was, I believe, six feet wide, 18 inches thick, and then also had a keyway here. I did make another video for this showing us how we went about showing you guys how we went about installing the rebar for here, which is 12 inches on center number five, and I think it's eight inches on center for the double mat uh, for the footing. So guys have any questions, any comments, leave down below. I did, at the intro of this video, I did have a video or a picture where it says the problem. So let me know what you guys think the problem is with this retaining wall. To do it justice, it did last about 30 years, but there's a lot of key elements that were missed. Well, some important elements that were missed. So sit back, relax, any questions, any comments, leave those down below. It's cool to ask for help. Hang around people that's positive. Wake up with good intentions. Everything is gonna be all right. I'll jump in the video a little bit later explaining how we go about pouring these concrete walls. Appreciate you guys, 2025. Let's make the best of it. Let's get it. Right, guys another question we get asked a lot is why do we use two by twelves? it's kind of muscle memory that's kind of how we started building these concrete retaining walls also the client likes the look of that final look of that board finish um there's a difference we kind of do the standard board finish then there's an the architectural board finish where it kind of goes in a little bit more detail how the two by twelves or the two by six will be laid out but also just gives the client if they want to change their mind later on down a couple years from now where they want to put a stone veneer on it stucco or maybe even paint it i'm gonna find some pictures or some videos and i'll post those well i'll leave a link to those um down below but that's pre pretty much <laughs> pretty much why we use the two by two it's kind of muscle memory and the client likes the look of it appreciate you guys All right, guys it's time to pour this concrete footing one of the most asked questions is how do we go about pouring our concrete retaining walls here so in this process on this video we're going to show you how we went about pouring this concrete footing and this concrete retaining wall but primarily we start at one end go to the other end the concrete pump itself is doing all the work here you can see the guys kind of putting it behind the wall here that's to fill up the back of the footing we also got my guy jd on top kind of tamping it down so our so our drainage pipe can go on top of the footing here but the concrete pump does a lot of the work here you don't have to have a perfect finish here once you kind of find your level and you can see this two by four at the bottom that's our level 
of the footing here then we'll circle back around and start with the uh, concrete retaining wall i thought i had a video kind of showing that process here well i do have a video in here but it's not really showing it but primarily we'll start at this corner let it fill up and kind of go down like a triangle effect now one of the most important tools you can have here is your concrete vibrator here this helps eliminate any air pockets and any honeycomb that may have you want to also make sure that your your boards are formed so when you strip it uh it's not kind of tearing the concrete away with this so sit back relax i wanted to jump in here like i said that was one of the uh one of the most asked questions how do we go about doing so hopefully i answered but if it didn't you guys have some more questions you can leave those down below and i'll be sure to answer i appreciate you guys let the video ride out watch it to the end help us out with all that youtube algorithm stuff and also got some nice before and after pictures of this project appreciate you guys let's get it